All right, more parts will come in. I think we're done with the parts pretty much. New tire on there. And the rear struts in the back are bad. So that just slams down. Also, the wipers are really bad and dry. And I don't want to accidentally hit the wipers and have this scratch the glass. So search for wipers, my favorite place. eBay, there you go. Good Trico stuff, that's what I like. Plus, look at these nice new arms for the back. So that's gonna be good. What's left is to run all the wires back up to the front where Smokey had them. Put his data acquisition back in it and mine is going to be piggybacked over it. I think it's interesting to see. Look at that. He pulled that down, ran his wires through, and then just used duct tape to duct tape it back up. So pretty cool because it's just history. So what I did is I went to the gauges. There they are. And tapped in right there, if you can see. And I'm going to just get my vacuum from there and still leave all the original gauges working, but do some data acquisition from there as well as up here. So up here, back off, we have a coolant temperature sensor. That's coming in this way. Also an O2 sensor. That's coming in this way. All come up to here. I got a tack wire that's coming from the MSD box. All going back up through here. I don't know why it's zoomed in so much, but there we go. So that's going to go back up in through there. So hopefully... Uh, We'll be back up and running. The cars are already running, so we're we're there. There's a good look at it. Um, air filters back on. I know what it, some people have said. Get rid of that fire hazards up. Back in the day, totally agree. I ran them, but that's what Smokey had on it. That's what's going to stay on it. Really, it does do. If I remember right, um, from Smokey, it's the air. You can't beat that for air. It doesn't have to do a turn. But yes. It dries up, that's a nice new element, so we don't have any problem of sucking in the old element into the carburetor. That's what he had, that's what we're gonna leave on it. So all right, there we are. Hopefully, maybe next week, I don't know. Can be at the track. Oh, I am changing a couple of things. I think I'm just gonna mount a fuel tank to the front of the car, right in the front bumper area. Just mount a tank with one gallon of gas in it. Put a changeover valve right here. Click the valve. I can just go from the front for fuel and not have to worry about doing calculations for fuel or anything right now. I just think simple one gallon tank up front and people would just not say, you know, it didn't really get that mileage. So there's a tank I'm, I'm thinking and there's my data.